electeds of whites holiday party how do you feel about that <laughs> does it make you mad <laughs> like what the hell <laughs> it's the of whites holiday and it accidentally sent to you then you go to uh, michelle you email back is this a typo <laughs> it says elected of whites holiday party <laughs> This man decided that he would stand up and say that taking out Dr. Guy is the beginning of taking out DEI. I want to come to his office and let him know that we will fight him. We said nothing when the fight was at Harvard, but now he's declared war against all of us. I don't know if you guys heard of this Boston mayor, Michelle Wu. She's married does this matter but i'm just trying to give you a picture of her it doesn't really matter but to me i think it's an important piece of the puzzle michelle Wu, you can see she's uh from asian descent she's married to a white man i don't know if he's jewish or whatever but he's a, he's a white guy she was just in the news actually three weeks ago for two things this one re recently uh, for racial bias, Claudine Gay's downfall as Harvard president. I'm just really sad. Now, Claudine Gay, remember, a couple of days ago, I showed you a tape of Claudine. She could not directly say whether or not being anti-Semitic or being racist was a bad thing. She couldn't say if they had punishment for students that attend Harvard University, if they were uh, caught in doing anti-Semitic racist comments or even saying to harm a Jewish person. She couldn't say it definitively whether or not this was a bad thing or if they will get punishment. So she received backlash over that. Now, then a few weeks later, after that whole uh, testimony in front of Congress, a few weeks later, she then was caught plagiarizing. She lifted two paragraphs and put it in her own, I think it was her book or some type of uh, thesis or whatever. And so she was called plagiarizing. Now, I don't know whether or not she used these paper to receive her degree from Harvard, but they called her. So they said, oh, you got to step down. So she resigned. Now, Michelle Wu is coming into her defense and she's saying, hey, it's because Claudine is black. Now, some other people come into her defense saying, oh, it was a misstep. She forgot to cite her sources. No, it wasn't a misstep. She knew what she was doing. Now, she stepped down, but she is still at Harvard. She is still a tenured professor at Harvard, making $900,000 a year at Harvard. And Michelle Wu is sad because she's saying oh this was racial bias you guys put it in chat was that racial bias i think actually i think claudine was being racist herself because it seems to me it's okay to treat or say anything you want towards a person that looks white i guess if it's coming from a, a minority person all universities have a strong policy against plagiarism. So Michelle Wu is nuttier than a, a nut job. And reason why I'm saying that, I'm going to read some of this insert from this um, Boston Herald. It says, Boston, uh, Boston Mayor Michelle Wu is defending Harvard President Claudine Gay after the campus' shortest ever tenured president. Resigning following her explosive comments about anti-Semitism and as a leader face plagiarism allegations. Wu is blaming racial bias for Gay's downfall at Harvard, noting that people against DEI 
have been pushing hard for the president's resignation. They're not against, they hired her. You guys don't understand this, how foolish people sound when they say, oh, they don't, they didn't like her because she was black. They promoted her and literally they were sticking up for her until they found this plagiarism thing. And we got to realize Harvard probably has a lot of Jewish donors and they said, oh, hell no, she don't even like us. Why would the hell would I, you're going to lose my donation if you don't get rid of her. That That's the way that literally works. So if they're so against black folks, why would they hire them? Michelle Wu, if they against Asian people, why would you get elected? Ball in Boston, in all places, you are the mayor of Boston. Does that make any sense to you guys? Um, Gay was Harvard's first black president. The Boston mayor who graduated from Harvard College and Harvard Law School was asked about gay during the interview on Wednesday. I'm just really sad in how the whole thing played out. Java with Jimmy. Do you guys know what that means? You're in a place where people are putting you in a gotcha moment. No, that wasn't no gotcha moment because they kept on repeating the question. She kept on giving this long answer. It's a yes or no question. That wasn't a gotcha moment. And the it wasn't a three minute video. This shit lasted on for like 30 minutes. I just didn't play the whole clip because you had other representative asking her the same thing. And she gave that same long answer. Instead of saying no or yes. Yes, we support the comments. No, we're totally against those comments. And we 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 punish severely. We're totally against hate at Harvard University of any kind. And she couldn't say she was against it or Harvard stands against it. Anyway, Gay has been under fire for several weeks as she uh, testified in Congress. During a controversial con uh, congressional hearing in front of the Republican-led House Committee, Gay refused to characterize calls for genocide of Jews as a breach of Harvard's code of conduct. There has been a report spike in anti-Semitism following the Hamas terrorist attacks in Israel. Jewish and the Resley students have been threatened and assaulted on campus. She has even personally said that the words that were used in a different setting were not the best ones that could have been used. Uh, just a few months ago into being a role like that takes a lot. And she's saying, I don't think anyone, again, is trying to defend certain aspects of what happened, but it's hard to, not to put the whole picture together and to look at the dynamics of what happened and how personally this was based, how much sort of racial bias was definitely connected to this. This is what Wu said. And I think anyone who's in a position of leadership has a growth curve and a learning curve. One thing about Wu, you know, uh, three weeks ago for Christmas, discriminatory party, a Christmas party, I guess for her staff. And, but it was like, you couldn't, they couldn't have any white people there. And some of her employees, I guess, sued or whatever. And... I just want to show you, here's her husband, this guy. That's her husband. Somebody else, 21 North End Restaurants accused Boston Mayor Michelle Wu of discrimination in new lawsuit. This is it. Boston May Mayor defends hosting elected of color's holiday party after email controversy. It says, after an invitation for elected officials of color was accidentally sent to the entire Boston City Council, Mayor Michelle Wu spoke to the media about carving out spaces for the communities of color. I, I, I don't understand that. Why, why would you do that? Now you're going to put the council members are supposed to be working to, together. To me, that, that doesn't make any sense. It re is really irritating. 
Um, it says uh, Boston Mayor Michelle Wu defended on Wednesday holiday party for elected officials of color after invitation accidentally sent to the entire city uh, city council. We had individual conversations with one another. So people understand that it was truly just an honest mistake that went out in typing the email field. She said in an interview with the local news station, I look forward to celebrating with everyone at the holiday parties we will have besides this one as well. I, I wouldn't even went to that bullshit. Elected of colors holiday party. What the hell does that mean? I think we all have been in a position at one point where an email went out and there was a mistake in the recipients. So there was truly just an honest mistake and that happened in issuing the invitation. But she doesn't see nothing wrong with just having a party with just some of your city councils. If that was the case, you wouldn't even send it. I wouldn't even say I would send it out to your uh Hey, what, what's your, um, not your business email address, what's your personal email address? Because I want to invite you to this party. It'd be like one-on-one -on -one personal thing, not through the business email. And I, I'm getting tired of a woman of color, first woman and person of color. This is NBC News, first woman and person of color. Who writes like this? It's not all at all divisive. What do you call it? <laughs> it's not divisive. It's creating spaces for people and communities and identities with shared experiences to come together. No, you if you want shared experiences, you invite everybody. That, that's what she's supposed to do. This is Frank Baker, white city council member. She said he doesn't care about not being invited. He said, I don't get offended. You don't want me at your party? I'm not going to the to come to the party, he told Boston and other media. Um, I guess she they took her to court. I don't know. If I was the city council, everything she does, I would go against. If it's like not really major. I'll still do my job, but I I make her life miserable just because it is now it's saying um no whites party did not violate the laws of massachusetts and uh, this is from the attorney general wouldn't that be a hate crime <laughs> that's a workplace discrimination you guys let me know <laughs> is this workplace discrimination you don't invite uh white folks to the party so the uh, attorney general said it was okay if I was these people, I wouldn't even show up. Uh, this is the attorney general. That's why she's not investigating because it's a black lady. She's like, oh, it's okay to discriminate. It's okay to segregate. And you get mad if somebody say, oh, no, this is a white only. <laughs> Remember, this is what we fought for. You can't come to this store. This is a white only store. I want you guys to realize you might not say, oh, you might be thinking like, oh, it's, I don't see the problem. But just imagine if a white person says, what was the party called? People of color party? Something of color party? Of whites. Elected, elected of whites. Holiday party. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Does it make you mad? <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> it's affected the whites. Holiday did it accidentally sent to you. Then you go to uh, Michelle, you email back. Is this a typo? <laughs> it says elected of whites. Holiday party. <laughs> so you'll get upset. So this attorney general said, no, it's, it's no problem. This is the attorney general, Andrea Campbell is not investigating the party despite receiving complaints. Her office said Wu did not violate laws because the event was not public. So they said it was okay for her to do this. Let's move away. You guys put it in chat. Let me know what you think. 